Yo, 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 what is up? How is everybody doing? How, what is, what's going on? Today is a very special day because today is Saturday. Saturday, the 10th of June. If you know anything, tomorrow is a really, really big day. So, of course, I want to get all the stuff that I could possibly get before tomorrow where things get confirmed and is a beautiful news week. So, what's up and welcome to another episode. An episode that is great, late, but with good reason. The Xbox Showcase is coming up and I wanted to make sure I get every good thing I could, good news, all rumors out that I could possibly get. Talk about Diablo and some other stuff that I've been doing. Um, and Street Fighter, and if I have any more predictions, get some predictions off. So, if you're ready, I'm ready, and screw the catch up, we'll just get right to the news. All right, let's do it. So, Xbox Bethesda Starfield plans to run roughly two hours, which means there's a lot to speculate. A lot to speculate to wonder what's gonna happen in this double feature of. Uh, Xbox showcase. I can't wait to see what's gonna. I can't wait to see what's happening. I can't wait to see what we get in. I'm very excited. I am prepared for everything. None of the first party games shown will only be CG trailers. It will be in game, in engine footage that. Will, <coughs> sorry, will be shown. So if it's any CG going on, there will be in game engine and shit to accompany that so no more guessing how good the game's going to look um or how they intend the game to look capcom will host a showcase june 12th um and not really sure what to expect from there i mean supposedly they released three titles that they might be covering i'm just waiting for more pragmata a rumor that Nintendo will do some sort of July Direct, whether it's a mini or a full, we really don't know. But at least we know Pikmin's coming in July. So if you're a really big Pikmin fan, you can get some Pikmin um, for your for your brains very soon. So there is definitely that. Um, hopefully they do do something. I'm I'm ready for more uh, Nintendo stuff. I mean, mostly I want a new Mario game and I want this update on metroid prime 4 and i want to see what new titles new ips they got for us if any that are gonna make me really excited to play something other than metroid for the 77th time um or more mario games i don't know i just i just want more stuff on my switch man i like my switch and i would like to keep up in the collection um we will be getting some new x defiant news on june 12th week um which is the next sorry which is the next ubisoft event so if you were looking forward to x define really seeing what that's really really about and exactly how much more because you didn't get the chance to play that beta well you're gonna get some more information so be prepared for that diablo 4 has a cosmetic shop that costs real money expensive money but it doesn't give you any advantages whatsoever so i mean I don't really see that big of an issue with it other than the fact that the cosmetics are super expensive. But I also feel like that's that's Blizzard Activision people for you um for you like uh, isn't there shit always like pricey as hell? How much money do you World of Warcraft people spend on World of Warcraft? I mean, the issue is some of those stuff in the storage is really fucking cool. But I'm going to wait for the battle pass, see what comes in there. Hopefully they get some good shit in that. I'm not spending any money on those costumes. Those those currencies are pretty damn expensive. WB Black has these SSDs for Xbox, which are now available across multiple retailers with a 500 gigabyte SSD starting at $80 and a one terabyte option for 150. And they start off much cheaper than the competitor, which is really good. It's nice to finally see other people making these expansion cards because you use up a lot of gigs really easily like it's super easy to use up all the space on your um 
Xbox. I already used up my four terabyte uh, external and the, the fake one terabyte that the system comes with because we know it's never one terabyte. I feel like it should be one terabyte plus 400 reserve and it's only for the system, like only for updates. We can't touch it. I'll take that. That's fine. But don't market it. Just market them as a hun- as one terabyte because it's literally one terabyte of gaming stuff. You can put in the hard specs or whatever if you need to, but only give us a terabyte and make sure it's exactly a terabyte. Because in theory, shouldn't someone like... Su- I mean, I'm sure that's in the hard packaging. I mean, in the hard specs somewhere too, but like that's like suable damn near. I'm thinking I'm getting one usable terabyte, but it's like, nah, you get a, you get a terabyte in total but we really only give you 950 gigabytes because we're going to take 50 and then every update is probably going to take even more than that so sorry it's kind of annoying um shredders revenge is getting some cool dlc with dimension shell shock later this year uh starring usagi the samurai rabbit and it's cool to see this game still getting supported, getting extra stuff, some DLC, which means we might even be able to see more in the future, depending on how this goes and how much people buy it and want to play it. And I think it's a really fun game, so I think it's worth it. It's a super cool co-op game. You got a new character now. Like, that game actually has a pretty decent amount of people to play with. So it's cool that they're adding more and they're um, throwing in some extra levels in there. I'm going to get to it when I get a chance. I still have to be, like, the last four levels. But I'm going to get to it and hopefully have have a lot of fun. Did we talk about Redfall? Um, I feel like we did, but we probably didn't. And what I mean is how the team basically had a lot of issues with staffing and wanting to cancel the game or have it rebooted. Um, apparently, a lot of people left because it was a multiplayer-focused studio. and I mean, game. And they wanted to make a single player game. And a lot of people wanted to work on it, but they were hoping that it just got moved to being a single player instead. But it didn't. And this is what happened. And then I feel like Microsoft should have took that into account when they were thinking about doing their hands-off approach. But it's too late. What happened happened. Got to move on at some point. I just hope that they don't forget to add the DLC. Like, I hope they don't purposely not add the DLC that they said they're going to add the extra character. Um, and give the game a chance. Like, if you can fix anything to make it likable, just give it a chance, man. Just give it a chance. But totally, totally hope that they give us that 60 frames per seconds and stuff, too. New Mortal Kombat footage was revealed, and I have a lot of positive things to say. But first, man, I want uh, MK Tag. MK Tag would be so cool. But basically, Mortal Kombat has these cameo characters, and they are very important. They are a part of the mechanics. They are the new gimmick. And you use them to extend your combos as breakers. You use them as assist. You use them a lot. And it's really cool because it reminds me of the noob and smoke and deception. Um... Except you can't swap them out. You just use the other person as um, like a real homie. You know what I mean? I think that's really cool. Uh, I'm so excited for this game. The story even looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I want to see exactly how this universe gets gets taken care of. I want to see how long it lasts before someone else gets the power and reshapes the world in their own image. It'd be nice to see something that's like... Mortal Kombat, like, um, I want to say Annihilation, but that's a movie already, but just something like that, right? And then it's just the darkest, grittiest, craziest timeline Mortal Kombat has ever had where everyone is losing, and it's damn near hopeless. Um, But I want to see what this turns out to be. I'm very excited. I want to see how all these characters work. The fatalities that I've seen so far, crazy, like. They actually look super creative this time around. Kenshi's is fucking cool. He turns the sword into a drill and just drills right through the character's mouth. And it's just so fucking gory and bloody. And oh my 
God, it's fucking awesome. I'm so excited for it. Eliza P trailer revealed more about the beautifully twisted world and the puppet we will be using to fight our way through it. And it comes out September 19th with a demo out right now. I didn't play the demo, so I don't have any firsthand impressions yet, but I will download the demo and try it. I'm excited for this game. It really looks beautiful. Like, it looks steampunk, Pinocchio, old gothic style. It looks fucking amazing. I'm ready to play it and i've never really been a bloodborne fan but after elden ring i'm ready to give this shit a real shot a new ip set in a world where demons and humans live together play this beautifully artistic game called sandland um yeah it should be called sandland i don't know why my thing said sandlin um it's made by it's an old manga apparently and it's made by the same artist of dragon ball and Bandai Namco. So if you like that art style, if you like the Blue Dragon style stuff, this is a really cool, action, more action style game for you to play. Island Wake 2 looks so good. I've seen video of its hands on and we got a gameplay. I really wish it was getting a physical because like it looks great, man. It looks great. I And the game looks like it's it's targeting like as many people as it can and because of this i feel like they really could have listen i get physicals are expensive to make but like who's if you're not making a physical then you're only doing this for yourself unless you're a really small indie developer group and you really can't afford it but if you're doing this you're only doing it for your money and it's like Okay, I get that. Everyone needs to get paid. But, bro, there's people who want the physical copy and won't buy it if they don't get one. Just like the Yakuza game, um, the new one that just got announced. There's no physical in the U.S. for it, but people are saying they'll go get the Japanese copy because they want the physical. And if they don't get that, they're just not going to buy it. And then there, some people are hoping for the Europe version to be um just us with a different um packet with a slightly different packaging and not too much um crazy changes that's probably where i'm going to be going with that too because i want that game but i will definitely grab it for a different um region if if it's necessary spider-man 2 is coming to playstation 5 october 20th and eddie brock is not venom so it's definitely um harry osborne that wasn't confirmed the second part but it was confirmed that it wasn't eddie but according to the game it really hints at it being harry so we're gonna go with harry for now a new final fantasy game for mobile devices has officially been announced and it seems to be set during final fantasy 7 register right now for ios and android don't nod is back on their action shit with a game about banishers and it looks pretty damn good boy they took all their narrative skills and mixed it with their action skills and made a game. It, it, it just looks great. Banisher's Ghost of Eden coming this year. This year. I'm ready for that. I don't know how people weren't excited at the showcase for certain things. That game looks good. Um, and Immortals of Avion. It looks all right it's it's one of those games that you got to have in your hands to really test it because it it's given for spoken but not in a uh uninhabited land it this looks more lively but we'll have to see and play it speaking of the new york is a game a new york is a new york is a world game is officially announced and shown off with action-packed gameplay and arm twisting fights like a dragon Gaiden coming to all modern platforms. Uh, I will, if it's on Game Pass at any point, I'll play it for sure. But until then, I'm upset because I, I just want, I want to put it with my other collection. I got a lot of Yakuza games and I want to put them there. The only ones I understand, I mean, I don't understand, but I understand is the first, the remakes um, that they bought to Xbox. Kind of understand it because they bought it and they didn't really know how it was going to do whatever fine i'll take that but your future games especially if they've been doing good you should make physical copies for them like even playstation's not getting a physical copy it's only getting it in um in other regions apparently 
Anyway, uh, Final Fantasy VII Part Two trailer has released, and it looks even more beautiful with long sword wielding nemesis himself. Final Fantasy Rebirth comes out early 2024, available on two disc. Listen, I actually think that's wonderful. As a collector, that's great. Also, it's awesome. Cyberpunk was two disc. Um, Red Dead Redemption was two disc. Uh, some other stuff was two disc. But man, that's 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 cool and it's a throwback. And it also means that the game's probably extremely massive if there's going to be a download specific disc and a gameplay disc. Or if there are two gameplay discs, that means that the entire game is on the disc. And that's fucking awesome. I will absolutely put in multiple discs if that means that my games stay on the disc. I don't care. I'd play Final Fantasy 13 a lot. Was it 13? I think it was 13 that had the multiple disc. I might be wrong. It was there's a game and it's multiple disc and you have to put it in like a couple of times. But anyway, I'll do it. I don't care. I want it. Pers uh, Persona 3 Persona seems to have gotten leaked. A Persona 3 Reload coming early 2024 and Persona 5 Tactica coming 11 17 23 are making their way to Xbox and even Game Pass and will apparently be shown at the showcase as they were leaked early on an Atlas page by an intern who needs to be fucking fired. I would have loved that to be a surprise, but it's too late. According to leaks, Sindel and Lee May are coming to Mortal Kombat. Will they be playable or cameos? We don't really know. It's a leak, and it's a messy image, but we'll see. And apparently there's going to be no crypt in Mortal Kombat 1. So, that is all of the news. Let's see if we can, um, let's see if we can get some more news real quick that isn't leaks. I don't want any leaks. I want surprises for the rest of tomorrow. So, let's see. Um, do 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 do. Been playing Diablo. We'll talk about that later. Um, da 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 da. Nope, nope, nope. Not not much. Oh, there's a Prince of Persia 2.5 D ga game coming, and I'm very excited for it. They called it themselves a Metrovania, and um, it looks actually pretty damn good. You know, um, I'm excited to see how it plays it'll keep me held over until we figure out what the fuck's up with the other prince of persia game also i'm getting prince of persia for xbox 360 that game was so fun dog i really like it i love the art style i'm gonna play that game over i actually want that was one of the first few games i wanted to 100 percent, but never did but i think i'm gonna go back and try it now that i'm older and i have a little bit more patience for some of those frustrating tasks that they had us doing so that's gonna be cool um, I'm just gonna, let's see, let's see, Incident Star Trekker, uh, Lords of the Fallen was announced, Headbanger Rhythm Royale, The Last Faith, Steel Seed, Distant Bloom, Go Fight Fantastic, and Grande, Alaskan Road, Road Truckers, The Bookwalker, Thief of Tales, a gorgeous cinematic trailer for The Bookwalker, Thief of Tales, to edit during future game show summer showcase setting up the premise of an electric action adventure. Ooh, thank you, Games Radar. Deceit 2, Life by You, VR Showcase, who cares? Um, shout out to the developers who make VR games. I just don't like VR that much, so who cares about VR? But I hope that your games do very, very well. Absolutely. Space Gears, Layers of Fear. A cinematic launch trailer for Bloober Team's Layers of Fear duetted during the Future Game Show Summer Showcase. The spine-tingling video set up the premise of forthcoming psychological horror game offering creepy scenes of the protagonist jumping between surreal worlds. Layers of Fear has been rebuilt from the ground up in Unreal Engine 5 and is launching on PC, Mac, PlayStation, and Xbox June 15th. So more scary for you. Enchanted Portals. Play as a pair of rookie magicians on a bullet hell adventure in Enchanted Portals, a co-op 2D platformer from uh, Zishul Games Studios. A new gameplay trailer for Enhanced Portals appeared during the Future Game Show Summer Showcase. 
revealing how the game will use a variety of animation styles across its tricky levels. Uh, this little clip that they showed us, it really reminds me of um, Cuphead. Like, it looks like a Cuphead clone, but it looks like it's going to be really fun. And it's on, it's coming to PC and consoles later this year. If I can remember, I will definitely get enhanced portals. It looks really, 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 really good. I'm excited for that. Just based off of the art style. I fucking hate Bullet Hells because I suck having beat Cuphead, but I keep trying to play it. But I'm going to play this anyway. It looks like it could be really cool. Also, Moving Out 2 got announced. So that is all of the news. Um, we can get a little bit into some predictions. It's a short episode because I didn't talk heavily on everything announced. Um, but we can get into some predictions. And then I could tell you a little bit about Diablo and Street Fighter. Also, I dropped off your domes for street fighter and redfall on the youtube page uh so definitely make sure you go check that out off the dome with p90 redfall or off the dome with p90 street fighter 6 either one um so yeah let's get into these predictions and then talk about these games i played and then call it a day so uh, my predictions, some of them are wild, some of them uh, are reasonable, and yeah. So Gear 6 teased with in-game scenes and a short footage of gameplay with invisible UI, but more to come next year as it releases at the end of 2024. Ever wild to be fully revealed in its new state and exactly what the game is going to be about with a release window. Um, or... No window, but a decent amount of information about it. Fable 4 with a release date gameplay that shows the best of all of the last three games with a release date of November or window of 2024. And if it comes out in 2024, I believe we will be getting a collection this year that might stealth drop or drop very soon um, before all the super big games drop. And we also get a great look at the morality system. Two secret third-party projects will be released, one releasing this year and the other having a window um, of the next year and a half, is my guess. State of Decay finally getting an update due to its 10-year anniversary and maybe even an absolute release date, a hard release date. Kingdom Hearts 4 tease, I feel like if Xbox had any marketing with Square, it'll be for Kingdom Hearts since they worked so hard to try and get that on the system. And they were really excited about that. And they even had a little Kingdom Hearts trailer before. Um, and they also had them on Game Pass. Also, wishful thinking. But we also get a all-in-one limited physical release for Xbox with this announcement. Um, I think that would be great. I think that would be awesome. I think Xbox deserves to have a physical copy of... All the old Kingdom Hearts games, even if it's in an all-in-one. I definitely believe we'll be getting everything we need to know about Hellblade this year. Don't know if it's going to release this year, but I'm po I'm nearly positive that we're going to get um, all the details that they possibly want to give us. And then there's the Persona thing. I actually thought that was going to get shown anyway. Um... Yeah, I think I think that'd be great. I think a uh I think we deserve to well, not deserve. I think that's going to happen regardless of the leak or not. I think that we're still going to see Persona. I don't think they're going to cut that out or anything. I think that Sega also might be using Xbox to either do one one of two things. Either Xbox will be displaying Jet Set Radio Future as an Xbox exclusive, no timed, full exclusive, full exclusive next Jet Set Radio game or Jet Set Radio Future um, remake. Or Xbox will have marketing for Jet Set Radio and it will be multi-platform. Um, but that could also lead to a Game Pass because they have a good relationship with certain Sega games going on Game Pass. So that could be a relationship where it goes on Game Pass. And honestly, I don't want to predict too much because I don't, I, I love excitement. 
I love I don't care if I'm let down or not. I just love video games. But to be honest, I just want to let it ride out. I want to see exactly what happens. I want to see what we get and I'm just ready to take my notes, yo. I'm so fucking ready. I'm going to watch it back twice. I'm going to watch the normal and then I'm going to watch it back one more time after that cuz I'm excited. I'm I need it. I'm here for it. Games, man. Games, man. I want to go and drop my pre-order money, man. I want to go and drop the pre-order money. So, with that out of the way, I guess we could talk about some games real quick. So, Street Fighter 6, I think it's a phenomenal game. It has, like, one of the best um, tutorials and teaching and practice modes I've ever seen in a fighting game with so much accessibility features to help you become the best fighter if that's actually what you want to do. It's great. Oh, sorry. Another prediction. Hi-Fi Rush DLC gets announced. I think that, and I think we would get one shadow drop. There we go. Done predictions. Um, Street Fighter VI, highly recommend it. I give it a 8 out of 10. Or 8 out of 10, I think. It's, it's really fucking good. That game is absolutely... It's a wonderful fighting game from start to finish. I still love the feel of Street Fighter V when playing as Kami, but... Um, Street Fighter 6 is phenomenal. It's on every it's on all the systems now. It's great. It looks freaking beautiful. I love every second of it. I truly do. As well as Diablo. Diablo is sucking my life. I enjoy it. This game is literally great. It's so fucking fun. You know, it's you, you go into hell, you get to kill all these demons, you get to fuck shit up. That shit is awesome. I've been playing it with a homie. I've also been playing it solo. It's great. I'm at level 29 right now. I'm trying to get to level 30 by at least the end of today's day of recording um, because I got work, but I want to get to level 30, and then I want to get my second enchantment, and then we're going to work on getting to level 50 so I can get the Paragon shit because I want to see what's on that side. You can't even see what's on that side until you unlock it, so I'm very excited to see what's over there. Diablo is great. I highly recommend playing it with friends because bosses get hectic, but it is so much fun to deal with. I think that everyone should really fuck with this game. Like, it's a phenomenal game. It's great. Screw how you feel about certain things, but it's cool. Lilith is such an awesome designed character. I can't wait to kick her ass. Um, she might not deserve it. She might just be mad, but it's okay. I'm, I can't, I'm going to kick her ass, Lilith. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a phenomenal, awesome game. Also, I got Gravity Rush for my Vita so happy i got wet by bethesda and i'm gonna play a little bit of that today i think if not i'll definitely play it tomorrow evening um i'm very excited i love that game so much i love the demo like i played the demo insanely too much i think it's phenomenal it's like a truly truly awesome game i love my xbox collection um and then i just got dead rising three and four i think it was I got to finish up Dead Rising 3. It was one of the first games that I almost 100%ed. I was missing one achievement, and then they dropped the fucking DLC, and oh, dog, that pissed me off so much. This is what I need Xbox to do. Hey, I need them to revamp the achievements so fucking bad. I, I just need it so I can, like... I just need the achieve achievements separated when you click on them, and then there be overall. There needs to be two. There needs to be regular and overall. I, it just angers me. Like I want my badge back. I want my badges back. I miss it. That's what they should do. They should also stealth release an update for achievements. God damn it. Ah, I would love that so much. Um. Apple also had an event, and they unveiled a $3,500 headset that is definitely not for everyone, but it seems like it wants to replace phones, so it might be for everyone in the future if they could get the goggles down to glasses. Um, it looks really cool, and best believe, if I could afford it, it'll be in my house. 
but boy, that price tag is crazy. Um, and I wonder how hot it's gonna get running those programs. Like, how is it running the stuff that like it's supposed to be a Mac in your head? So if it's running all that stuff so well, how is that going to translate to the heat production? It's also wired, if I'm correct, which is just all right for now. Um, but still, how is I need to know how that heat distribution is going to work. Because if I'm working on logic and then my head explodes, like, what the fuck? I'm sure it's not that powerful like that. But still, like, it just looks like it wants to replace things. So if it does, they have to have that handled, you know? Otherwise, they're going to put holes in people's heads, like they said cell phones do in the first place. Um, oh, man, we saw Into the Spider-Verse. Ooh. Ooh. Nine out of ten fantastic animated film. That shit is great. Animation is definitely cinema. It takes so much work to do the shit that they do. There's no way you could deny them of how how great that work is bro like it's impossible to just look at them niggas and be like yeah nah that's just trash like what what do you mean oh and Jenna Ortega said the next season of Wednesday is gonna end up being more horror and they're gonna snatch out the love story and boy does that make me happy because honestly I really 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 like the small horror aspect that was there we also got to see a clip of twisted metal uh twisted metal and the characters well really sweet tooth and falcon's character and it looks like a they just showed us a really funny clip of it and i'm not i'm gonna watch it because it's twisted metal but i'm gonna be honest i'm not sold on it that much right now it doesn't look anything spectacular it just sweet tooth looks great though i'll tell you that but we'll have to watch it and see. And I'll watch it and I'll talk to it. I'll tell you about it. I'll probably finish this over Halo. I love Halo more than that. But I'll probably finish this over Halo depending on how much card destruction is there. And if Axel is there. I think I have a thing for characters named Axel, yo. Because I love Axel in Kingdom Hearts. I always use Axel in um, Twisted Metal head on. Like, what's up with me and Axels, bro? It's fucking weird. I'm going to name one of my characters in my video game Axel now. All right, guys. That's it. We will talk after the showcase. And that one will be more lengthy and thoughtful. Because I, I want to talk on everything there. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for joining me. Make sure to check out Off the Dome with P90 on YouTube. And I'll catch you guys next episode.